I respond? Can I respond, please? It was the kickoff of New Jersey's Working Families United Raise the Wage campaign, a push to boost the minimum wage to eight and a quarter from the current seven dollars and twenty-five cents. A question that is on the ballot in November because Governor Christie vetoed the minimum wage bill. The elected officials wanted to talk about voter turnout for the referendum, but the press questions were about whether the Democrats here were going to be able to get their political house in order long enough to be successful in the fall. Referencing uh, our, quote, party has had difficulty. I think that one thing everyone can agree upon is that we believe in a core set of values. But the physical, if not necessarily philosophical, distance between Mayor Booker and Speaker Oliver, who are now opponents in the August Senate primary, was obvious to most observers. Barbara Bono, the party's top of the ticket candidate, was relegated to near sidebar status, although she was an articulate advocate in support of the referendum. At 7.25 an hour, every single penny is put toward putting a roof over your head and food on the table of keeping the lights on and the heat on in the winter. Governor Christie says the bill is a jobs killer and would hurt New Jersey's small business. The Democrats say a raise in the minimum wage affects 400,000 New Jersey workers and tying the new minimum wage to the cost of living will allow for the wage to keep pace with the rising cost of everything. And what I'm dealing with in Newark is so many people stuck in minimum wage jobs without benefits and then they're forced uh, because they have no choices. They always come up at, with more month at the end of their money than money at the end of the month. But when asked about whether he'd taken up the matter in his many conversations with Governor Christie, Booker said that wasn't the point. Again, the press conference is about the minimum wage, not my relationship with the governor. And, and, and I would like to again say, I, I have a feeling that we're gonna be, people are going to try to continue to draw us into politics. Booker, Buono, and Oliver went to their separate ends of the room after the abbreviated press conference. Booker getting most of the media attention, Buono a little less so, and Oliver content to chat with just plain folks a true microcosm of where New Jersey's Democratic Party finds itself today. In the same room, perhaps, but not necessarily on the same page. Democrats believe this issue could be a winner for them, but in an increasingly convoluted election season, the challenge remains getting voters to focus. In East Orange, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.